So a content calendar helps you to stay organized, it helps you to stay on track, and most importantly, it helps you to stay consistent with your marketing efforts. So you can actually see the results that you're desiring with your content marketing strategies. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to create a content calendar using ChatGPT, and I'm gonna be giving you five ChatGPT prompts that will help you to do just that. As always with these videos, I'm gonna leave all the prompts in the description below for you just to copy, paste, and start using them today. All right, so let's get right into it. Now, the first one is to identify relevant topics. I see this time and time again, people just struggle to come up with topics, come up with ideas about how to create content around my industry or around my niche. And this will help you to do just that. So the prompt is this, generate a list of 10 relevant topics for insert my industry or business that would engage my target audience for the upcoming month. All right, so in this uh, example, we're gonna be using a pet food e-commerce business. Okay, so what are some ideas for my pet food e-commerce business that I could talk about? What are some topics, all right? Now you might be thinking, well, pet food, it's kind of boring. Wrong, there are so many topics that you can come up with that you can create content around that will get people interested in your brand, in your company, in your business, in your products and services that you offer to them. You just need to really dig deep and find out what those topics are. And once you put out a ton of content, you're gonna realize what works and what doesn't work, what your target audience connects with and what they don't con connect with. And then when you figure out what they do connect with, just do more of that, all right? So here it is. Number one, nutritional breakdown. Number two, the impact of organic food. Number three, decoding food labels. Number four, seasonal foods, right? Five, addressing food allergies. Six, sustainable food. Uh, seven, special dietary diet series. Eight, meal prep for pets. All right, I've never heard that before, but let's go for it. <laughs> Number nine, the great grain-free debate. And 10, transforming your picky eater. All right, so these are all topics that we can actually create content around. All right, so now that we know that, we wanna prioritize what is the most important. That is where number two comes in, prioritizing content creation. We wanna understand what is going to, uh, we wanna do a cost-benefit analysis. What is going to get us the best ROI? What is going to actually lead to the results that we want, all right? So here it is, prioritize these top content topics, insert your topics, based on seasonality, trend analysis, and potential impact on my target audience. All right, so we'll be using the same uh, industry pet foods, but it's gonna be around homemade dog food recipes, how to train puppies, and essential vaccinations for cats. All right, so we wanna know what is going to be, you know, what's gonna be the most important? What should we focus on first, okay? So here it is. Based on general seasonality trend analysis and potential impact on your target audience for pet pet food e-commerce business, here's the prioritiz prioritization, all right? Number one, homemade dog food recipes. This topic can be highly engaging year round as it's not bound to any specific reason. While with most people adopting pets since COVID-19, and increasing interest in healthy, organic, and homemade food for pets, this topic has been trending, all right? So it even gives you a little blurb about why it's the most important, all right? Number two, is essential vaccinations for cats, because depending on the time of year, this should have increased relevance. Kitten season, which typically starts in spring and runs through fall, all right? See, I didn't even know there was such thing as kitten season, all right? And number three, how to train your puppies. This topic is universally relevant and trends up during the puppy season around the holidays and in early spring when man, many families tend to get new puppies. Again, I didn't know this. Maybe if you're in, in the industry, you know about puppy season, but uh, that makes sense. So we wanna, we wanna create our content around that. We wanna create our content calendar around those times, all right? Do you see how important that is? Because when people are getting all new puppies during Christmas, we want our content to be shown then, all right? We wanna uh, give it to people when they're most likely to engage in it, all right? Number three, scheduling content. We wanna schedule it ahead of time. We, want, we don't wanna just scramble for our content the day of, all right? So this is the prompt, create a weekly, Create a weekly content schedule for the next month, including the topics, content types, and the best posting times for insert social media platform. So whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, we want to 
have a calendar for it, all right? So this is gonna be for Instagram. We're gonna have it create a weekly schedule for the next month that's going to just take all the stress out of it, take all the worry out of it. When we have a, when we're organized, when we allow, when we can see this calendar in front of us, we know what to do. We're not just sitting there struggling, thinking, oh, should I do this, should I do that? No, we have a calendar that we are going to abide by and that we are going to follow, okay? So week one, Monday, topic, homemade dog food recipes, easy starters, content type, carousel post with step-by-step -step images, best posting time before 11 a.m. Now, I wanna just tell you also that you can tell ChatGPT that you want a daily post, a two times a day post, or a once a week post, twice a week post. You can tell to do whatever you want. This is just spitting out, you know, week one, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it's three times a week. So you can adjust this to your needs and what you want to do, okay? Then Wednesday on week one is the topic of dog training basics 101, or dog training 101, basic commands. Every puppy should know. Friday, your cat's health, essential vaccinations explained. Sunday, uh, actually no, it's four times a week. Sunday, pet spotlight, meet our customers' pets, great ideas. Week two, uh, homemade dog food recipes, and then it tells you what to do. It's telling you when to post, what, what type of content this is, and it just makes it so much easier. It takes so much more of the burden out of it when you know what to do, and ChatGPT is telling you what to do. Now, of course, you don't need to follow this specifically, but it does help because it really takes a lot of the thinking out of it, and it allows you just to create the content itself rather than just sitting around thinking, well, what should I do today? All right, topic, puppy training. All right, topic, kitten, kitten vaccinations. Topic, our best-selling products of the week. Homemade dog food recipes, dog training, dealing with aggression, understanding the risks and benefits of cat vaccines. All right, uh, customer stories, pets that love our uh, products. Okay, so it keeps repeating itself with these topics, but that's where you can go back into the prompt and uh, really change the topic or the content types. You can insert different topics that we found from the relevant topics from the first the first prompt itself, okay? Number four is content mix. We don't want the same content over and over. We want to mix it up. We wanna go based off of trends. We wanna go based off of what people are talking about and ride those waves, ride those trends to get more eyeballs on our business, okay? So this is the prompt. Based on current social media trends, provide a content mix recommendation like videos, infographics, blog posts, etc., for industry or insert your industry or uh, business type, okay? So this is going to be, uh, give us some me social media trends for a local gym. This is a little bit different than the pet food, okay? So this will, will allow us to not just post the same, same exact stuff every single day and people just get bored of it and stop watching or unfollow. Uh, it, it allows you to really mix it up, okay? So here it is. Based on current social media trends, here's a content mix recommendation for a local gym. All right, workout videos and live streaming. Okay, you don't wanna just do it every day as a workout video, right? But a majority of it probably should be, all right? Especially if you're a gym, you wanna show people what you have to offer them and the expertise in the field, the, the expertise, the knowledge, the, the understanding, the education that you know about that specific industry that you're in. So 40% should be about workout videos and live streaming, all right? Give the rise of virtual fitness. Given the rise of virtual fitness, you should regularly post short workout videos on li or live streaming training sessions. This type of uh, content is highly engaging and valuable to your followers. Videos might include demonstrations of how to use gym equipment correctly, how guide guided at home workouts, or quick fitness challenges. All right, then infographics, those are always great. User generated content. This is content that's created by your customers, by your followers, and um, they talk about your, let's say your gym, for example, and they share stories about how your gym has helped them. Okay, this can be really powerful because it's almost like a testimonial. Uh, number four is blog post, all right? Number five, behind the scenes, and number six is promotional content. So do you see that the promotional content is the smallest? Because at the end of the day, when you are educating people, when you're informing people, and giving goodwill to people, they're naturally gonna wanna buy from you. So if you're doing the opposite where it says promotional content 5%, if you're putting that all the way at the top where it's 40%, you're going to lose followers. You're going to lose the interest of people. All right, you want to provide value to them in these various different ways, okay? 
And number five is event related content. So have you ever seen like your email address during Memorial Day or during July 4th? There's always these uh, email blasts that go out about special promotions, special offers. Well, those are really powerful because it gives people, it gives businesses a reason to promote, right? It gives businesses a reason to say, hey, I got 20% off for you today. Click the link, buy our t-shirts or whatever you're selling, right? We want to come up with, understand the events that are happening throughout the year and use those events to our advantage to promote our products, to sell our products, to talk about our products, okay? And this will help you. So here's the prompt. Identify three major holidays or three major events or holidays in the next quarter and propose a related content topic for each, for each, for into your, your business type. And this is for an online clothing store. All right, so let's see what type of events or holidays would come up that would help us to promote our clothing, right? All right, so here it is. Assuming the next quarter is July to September, which it is, here are three major events or holidays. All right, 4th of July, perfect. Patriotic fashion, uh, red, white, and blue uh, looks, for, looks for your 4th of July cel celebration. Perfect, exactly what we talked about. Now this can be used on your social media pages, on your email list, on your YouTube channel, on your Instagram, anything that it is, you can use this to promote, all right? International Youth Day, youth, youthful trends, what's hot in uh, young adult fashion, and Labor Day, end of summer sales, the perfect Labor Day weekend outfits, all right? So you get the hint. You can use all of these prompts to create a really powerful content marketing strategy to sell your products and your services. And I will also, like I said in the beginning, I will leave a link to all of these prompts in the description below for you just to copy paste, start using them today, and start creating your content calendar, taking all the stress out of it, and start just creating valuable content that sells your products and your services, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you're gonna like these two videos also. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.